Gaiji will be macking though. You know why? Because after he gets that kiss, after he get all that shipment, you cannot resist the love of Levy, man. This chapter was really good, and I say that because this is like one of the first times we've ever gotten a backstory from Gajil. We all we have, we've always known him as that delinquent, that guy that's always has a short temper, that guy who's always cutting up. But he um got a little maturity, a little character development. So our story starts off as Gajil holding Levy, saying to back off, cause the love is real, the love, man. And then he starts to um try and wake Levy up. She says. That thing you did to give me air. Do it once more. Go like, oh, okay. Gajil actually likes that stuff. Okay. So I'm going like, mm, so are they going to kiss again? And then Levy's having a flashback. He goes like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I kissed him. Go like, no. And then she almost passes out out of love. Don't go Juvia on me, Levy. You're supposed to be the smart one here. So then Gajil says, snap out of it. I mean, like, write a solid script. So I don't know. She got friend zone? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, they might kiss again, you're not sure, after they defeat Tor Fuza, but he was macking. You you know what I know, he was macking. So then they um she writes a solid script for Air and gives it to Natsu and Lucy, rescuing all of them, and also restores Air to Gajil, and he enters his Iron Dragon Slayer form, going on to Tor Fuza. Tor Fuza um unleashes his nine demon gates thing. He like coats his um like gold armor, I think. And he's fighting, and we can't really get a bunch of moves on him, Gajil. And then we go back to this flashback. There's this one woman in the uh, Magic can Council. She was an old lady, and she like healed Gajil up all back to her wounds. Um, he he she healed Gajil back um up to. I don't know how to say this. She healed Gajil. That's all I have to say. So then the, um she um is telling him saying that. You need to leave Phantom. I'm not telling... She's going like, I'm not urging you to do the right thing, but I just need you to leave Phantom. It's not the right environment. So he does, and he sort of has his objective to um, beat Fairy Tail, because this is right after the Phantom Lord arc, and she's just going like, you're just the same spoiled brat or something. Or she, Honestly, I didn't see much of the backstory. All I was um, thinking that it's just that stuff going like, you need to mature and stuff. And then we come back, and... Um, the lady died. They were too late, I guess, about something. And then Gajil says, "I Gajil says that um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get better. Like it's it's just it's just one of those times where you're gonna improve and stuff." So then Gajil has that flashback, and then he's going like, I'm "Not the same spoiled brat. I'm gonna do this." And he starts beating the crap out of Torfusa, and then she writes, um, Levy writes the elemental um, combination for steel. So he eats steel and gets, instead of iron, you have steel, and he uses his iron, um, iron secret iron dragon sword and defeats Torfusa. And I can't wait to see the aftermath of this. Might get some Grey Juvia, might get some Nacho Lucy, might even get some more Gajil and Levy. You, all you guys love that Gajil and Levy goodness. But that's it for this review. This chapter was really short, but Gajil be macking. Gajil thirsty, man. He thirsty for the booty. But that's all I have for this review. I um, hope you guys like the review. Do not forget to comment. Hit that like button. Like I stole something. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more anime. And I know I've been doing a bunch of gaming for those for those of you who subscribe to my channel. But I will try to do that more. And um, yeah. Until we meet again. See ya. Oh yeah. And follow me on Twitter. Do that.